five for podcast might be three. Could be four. Who knows? I don't know what number we're on anymore. Could be the last one. We're back, baby. Could be the last one. Depending on how it goes. Could be the first good one. (laughs) Could be. Uh, Still got a lot to talk about. We got, probably not. We got three big trips we had. We got uh, vintage rods we're buying on the interwebs, unbeknownst to us. And we got the biggest trip of our lives coming up. Oh, my God. With your so fly fishing guide, Todd Peterson in the Northeast. It's going to be the <laughs> world renowned fly fishing guide, Todd Peterson. It's going to take you around some locally renowned, household renowned, <laughs> in my own head renowned. Exactly. I renowned. Let's myself. just go with renowned. Why can't renowned. Say renowned. Known local boob, Todd Peterson will take local you. <laughs> local waters and you can splash around in the water with me and see what happens <laughs> uh all right so let's start with boon can we start with what beers we're drinking since i'm about sure. to yeah what you got i have a fresh keg of white ipa from pony source brewing in durham north carolina which is quite delicious <laughs> The pause for effect was phenomenal. Thanks. <laughs> I, think, I, have. I think it's my seventh one here this afternoon. <laughs> evening. I have a, a Lawson's little sip. Uh, I went by the brewery when I was scouting locales for us to go fishing and got some beers. This is the last you one. You don't mean low on. calorie when you say locales. You don't mean no, anything I mean, to do with low calorie, do you? No, no. Phenomenal <laughs> IPA. Why, why would a guy? Why would I do that? Try to get at Lawson's, maybe get us some free beers while we're up there. Or maybe we tweet at Bush Light and they send us probably, <laughs> which I would assume would be 300 beers for us to drink. <laughs> so well, either way, either Lawson sends us 12 or Bush Light will send us 300. And either way, I like our options. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Anyway, Little Sip is a phenomenal uh, IPA from Lawson's in Vermont, where you guys will be fishing in T minus, we'll say six days. So excited. Nice. I'm drinking a Torque Wrench Hazy Double IPA from Industrial Arts Brewing Company, which actually is in New York, Garnerville, New York. Oh, yeah, I know it well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, brother in law <laughs> had relatives. They're from New York. So he had them bring some of this down. I've had it before. It's like one of my all time favorite beers. It's delicious. I like it. It's, it's very. Uh on point with the logo uh, on brand everything oh, yeah mechanics so we got lots of fish videos we're going to show lots of fish pictures because we had three awesome trips so why don't you all start telling us another trip up to the love shack in boone <laughs> <laughs> so it was hot tubby and full of full of fish so uh why don't you break down that trip and then uh we'll break down main and uh, the Catskills. Yeah, so we went up uh, it was late May. Uh, I think it was like May 21st, I think, the day that we went up, whatever Friday that was. And uh, got there with an hour and a half, two hours of daylight to fish. Um, and uh, we did we did okay that first night, right, Mo? We caught a couple, but weren't weren't like, you know, cleaning them up or anything um yeah, it, trying some okay. yeah so, trying some dries but i feel like uh it was mainly uh on droppers that we were catching them and the very I, I lost a decent rainbow and then the very first fish i got on the new winston w rod. oh was, no yeah that's right yes i forgot that a, I, the first fish i caught was chub. a chub <laughs> I think, I think that rod's ruined. Oh yeah, like I, think, your too, I had caught a couple, a couple <laughs> okay, like fish. You know, a brown. I think I caught two fish that night, P. Yeah, and and, and you caught only the chub, and we were calling the chub slayer. Yeah, my rod oh. has been dubbed the tut chub slayer. <laughs> um, uh, but anyway, I like how it got poisoned by a chub. I know. First fish. Yeah, and I, then I love it. Uh, next day, um, 
it was yeah we, we did we did pretty well the next day um we fished pretty much all day um Nymphs fished hard kinda, despite uh, our efforts the night before with yes. the drinking but uh, <laughs> yes the early wake up call was a little rough saturday morning yeah. um but actually had uh, a little had some good dry fly action there for a little bit on some stimulators and one little run of the river mo we like teamed up and sight fished mo got a gorgeous rainbow sight fishing it which was really nice. cool under a under a bush hanging over the river did you see it really rising cool. or did you catch it or see it in the water he, he was rising nice and, uh, we were i think p we were we had we were dry dropper at that point i believe mm -hmm. he, he took the nymph but we saw him rising and uh and p was casting <laughs> to him from downstream and i was kind of lateral across stream and, yeah mm -hmm. So PJ threw to him for a minute, and then I threw it to him, and he took the he took the nymph. But yeah, yeah, but so that was, we both uh, caught good cool. fish that day. That day was a good day. Awesome. And we, yeah, we went back out. Uh, you you also had it. one person watch your Instagram live. So other yes. than me, <laughs> we yeah. did our Instagram Which live. I, I don't know who it was. It was I think it was that, I think it was that nymphtastic. Was, was it? Out. I am pretty nice. sure most positive. Nice. He's our biggest fan. <laughs> um, and then yeah, we went out uh went out like dusk and um I I uh we had some dry fly action then it was pretty cool. Uh the one thing I you know that the the WT is like way more accurate than what yeah. I've been used to throwing. And I saw right off a rock, um there was a riser came up a couple times and so I put a dry on the first cast I like put it right where I wanted to and it was you know within a second he had taken the fly so that was really awesome and then when I was bringing in that it was a I don't know maybe 12 13 inch brown both I caught two fish about that size in that spot two browns and I was when I was bringing them in I saw a much larger brown chasing chasing uh which was pretty awesome yeah, well, we did uh, that night. We did tie on a mouse pattern, the uh, master splinter, yeah, and as it's called, and especially after PJ saw that big fish, um, you know, because it was a couple times. Be it, you yeah, saw I saw it, it twice. Chasing, yeah, yeah, chasing the fish you had on, and then I was like, "Cool, I'll put this mouse pattern on." Now what the hell do I do? <laughs> And, you know, but just drug it across the river a few times, the here and there, and nothing ever went after it. And it was like pitch black. Yeah, and then it got really dark really fast. And <laughs> yeah. At least you know there are big, big fish in there, no matter what. There's big fish in there. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. That's awesome. Cool. And then and we also have... know why, because uh, P caught a big fish the next day, which we really need to talk about. <laughs> I was just going to say that that rainbow, that was a nice rainbow. Yeah, yeah you caught that last day. Last cast of the trip. Uh, so that was, uh, yeah, that was awesome. Right under a bridge where Tom Rosenbauer says they don't want to eat. That's where they live. They live <laughs> yeah. Okay. We yeah. can go to Orvis and ask him. Get Tom on push, the show. Push gotta, him around. We, let's see if we get Tom on the show. <laughs> I'm sure he'll um, jump right on. <laughs> yeah, he'll be psyched to join the <laughs> cast. Special Tom, cast. What are you drinking? Tom what are you drinking, Tom? Tell me, tell me about what you got. What'd you find that? Yeah. A, chai, a chai tea as you tie a hundred <laughs> flies at night. Yeah. I bought this beer near you. Let's talk about bridges. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But no, I'm definitely, I, I caught that rainbow on a jig, jig head nymph. I'm like yeah. super, I like those a lot. Yeah. Um, I've just been using bigger jig head nymphs now instead of like trying to do split shot or whatever to get down i don't know if that's better or worse or the same i mean it's what, just but... you know i do like the jig head flies because they sit you know straight up and right. down you're not you're not getting snagged up as much right. underneath so you know they've got a lot of weight usually if they got a tungsten bead or you got a yeah. you know heavy bead then putting the weight on but yeah yeah I like I like them too. I've you I've been hitting them on a pheasant tail jig head that I only now have one of because I lost a couple and it is just it's been a great dropper to be running behind something for right. sure. So. Yeah. 
we'll be we'll be using those. So yeah, this successful week. trip overall. Nice, nice, very good. So I'll tell you. I'm gonna bit. tell you what. P, watching P cut that big, that big rainbow. He had to chase it down river. And he oh won't yeah, say wait, it all. I gotta talk he, about he won't it. say it all out loud. I'm just gonna say it for him. <laughs> he had to chase that fish down river. You know, I, I've never <laughs> seen one trying to trying to jump through the the water to keep this fish from. Get I was kind of going over rocks and slippery stuff, and he was running downstream. Yeah, and coming, coming from a guy who fell in the water twice that day. <laughs> I, I was, was gonna impressed. let you mention that if you wanted to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I went down. I had a tough day that the Sunday yeah. they were talking about. I had a tough day. I didn't do as well. I lost more <laughs> fish than I caught. Yeah, and 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 uh, and P chased one down the river. It was awesome nice very shout out to uh my new my new lamps and reel it was awesome there you go i know i forgot about that easily adjusted the drag while i was fighting that fish and everything was yeah it was awesome that's awesome yeah nice one and And i did a spectacular job of netting it (laughs) (laughs) both me and mo found out that we need a lot of practice netting for other people (laughs) stay away from me (laughs) <laughs> Mo's nicest rainbow, the one that he that we caught like sight fishing it. Uh, I was like, I'll net it for you, and I'm videoing and trying to net at the same time, and it goes between my legs, and I don't know where it is anymore. I'm pretty sure it's gonna get wrapped so around me and break off. I was trying to be nice, and I'm like, it's okay, it's okay. okay just, if you could just reach down, I mean, yeah. I if the you shore. could just, if you could just do better stop. that'd be awesome just you could just, you or doing. stop just stop moving <laughs> i think when and then mo netted my rainbow well yeah the well then day. yours then i was like freaking out because i went to net at one time and i missed yeah. him yeah yeah and and now i'm netting him from his tail which is i know yeah. no like don't do that and i'm like oh my god oh my god oh my god don't screw this up <laughs> this, this this fish is bigger than my net <laughs> it literally was. It was bigger than my net. Oh, that's yeah. hilarious. Yeah. Big fan. That was that was fun. Nice. Nice trip. Good time. We got a lot of pictures. So we'll put we'll put pictures up here. We'll put one there. We'll put one right here. Here's some I'm getting, hit this I'm getting sus- real. I'm getting real good with the 80s editing with like hit the subscribe button. Don't forget <laughs> something. Like, like and subscribe. Like this video. Like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. Uh, all right, nice, very nice. Well, another successful Love Shack Moon trip. Nice work. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No problem. All right, so I had two trips. I had uh, one to uh, Grant's Kennebago camps in Rangeley, Maine, uh, where it was on a big lake on the Kennebago Lake, and that's why I, I fished the lake almost the whole time. I didn't fish. There's a river that runs next to it, uh, the Kennebago River. I didn't fish any of that. I just fished the lake. Um, and I had an awesome time. I'll put some pictures up and some videos. All brook trout. I did not catch a chub on my new IM6. <laughs> I caught. I, I popped that Come cherry on. with a with That's a brook too, trout. It was awesome. It's unfortunate for you. I know. And I thought about how you told me about that ugly ass chub, and I thought, wonderful, beautiful. Look at this. A brook <laughs> trout, native wild brook trout. So that was awesome. So first, the first day we caught like a, some small fish um, at night. It was nice, like rising fish, like March browns and some stuff. So that was good. The second day, there's a pond that you you take a boat uh, across the lake or down the lake. Then you hike about a mile up and they leave boats at this pond. Um, and it's small. It's a I mean, I, I don't know how many acres it is, even if it's only a few acres, but there are some very big wild brook trout in there that hmm. are, are awesome. And um, we had a great day catching, you know, some 14, 16, uh, 18 inch brook trout out of there, um, all on how big now? Not 22, as I <laughs> incorrectly <laughs> measured from the tip of my finger. How much vomit from? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh no but yeah i measured wrong but i got it right i did fess up to the to the over <laughs> overreaction of the nice fish but uh the best the best part of the week was all dry fly like we did catch a few nice. on on droppers the first day but honestly the dry fly action was so good we cut them off and just 
all dry fly. So that was awesome. Um, and then in that same pond, so I'm reeling in a nice fish, like a good 15, 16 inch brook trout. And all of a sudden my reel just rips, like it's going. And I'm like, oh, oh. look at the run, look at the run this guy's making. But then it's way too fast. I literally cranked the drag all the way over and it was just pulling all the line out. I was like, what the fuck is this? The loons that were running around the oh lake. My God. Oh shit. So it took <laughs> my fish, went under the water, like ripped it almost all like hundred feet out. It popped up out of the water with the fish in its mouth and I could see the line tight to its mouth. And so I, I ripped the trout out of his mouth and I started reeling real fast <laughs> and he went under and snapped it off. Like just took it. <laughs> oh my God. Holy shit, that's amazing, but He's terrible, crazy. but awesome. <laughs> And that was it. That was the last fish. I was like, I reeled it. I was like, I'm all done. I caught like 10 fish. I'm like, I'm good. We're all set. Like after this, you know, in that same, not in that same location, but my father-in-law was letting a trout go. Like he was taking a picture. He's like, ah, this nice trout. And he let it go. And a fucking loon came up. (laughs) A loon came up and nipped his hand, like trying to get the fish. Holy crap. And they're, they're humongous. They're a huge bird. If you get up close to them, like they're just massive, you know? So that was that was hilarious that day of uh I like how you're loon. sponsoring them also. Well, you're loon loon outdoor yeah. shirt. <laughs> Jeez. I tell you that story because we're brought to you by Loon Outdoors today. But we're not. <laughs> we'll be awesome. We'll be not. awesome if we were. But we will be. <laughs> so, so the next day, uh, we stayed in the big lake and we had one uh, a storm came through, and right after the storm in this one area, you go under this causeway bridge, it's real low. And you like duck under it and the fish were boiling. Like there were, there wasn't a hatch, like flies weren't really coming off in big numbers, but whatever was happening underneath, whatever nymphs were moving around, whether they were Henderson's or Marge Brown's, there were just boils of water everywhere. And we picked off like 10 or 12 fish each just cast into risers. So that was, that was awesome. Um, And then we did actually do a little bit of streamer fishing because it got like 31 degrees and the wind started like going crazy. Holy cow. I didn't catch anything on streamer, of course. <laughs> I was just like, this is so much fun. I'm having an awesome time. So, <laughs> no, nothing on the streamers, but um, it was an awesome trip. So a lot of dry fly action and breaking in the IM6. So that was that was great. And then like four days later, we went down to the Catskills. Um, we took a flow trip down to Delaware. That was, it was hard, hard fishing. We caught a few. My father-in-law broke off like a 28 inch plus fish. Oh my we went God. with we went oh, with man. Zach hooked up like that fish went underwater like it just like you could it bent the rod and sunk to the bottom and you know it's a good fish when the guy jumps up and he's like looking for his net he's like this is a good fish this is like knocking shit over he's like gotta get this going <laughs> and it took a big run and I don't know if it wrapped itself around a rock or whatever but then you know all of a sudden it was like pop gone did you ever see so, it yeah I, guess I, I saw I did yeah. see it roll I had my polarized glasses on and saw it roll and it, it like I don't know, obviously, as well as the guy does. Like he was freaking out about how big it was, but it sure looked huge, just making a big roll underneath Jeez. the water. So that was good. Actually, caught a fish on my Euro nymph rod. That was amazing, even oh, though cool. it wasn't that big. I was blown away, and I lost a big one that jumped out of the water. These tiny flies I had on um, underneath, and a huge brown took one and ripped the line and jumped up, and I was like, it was gone. By the time it hit the water, the fly was like in my hat, like already back towards <laughs> me. I was like cool so that, that was cool and i did put a couple in the boat um at the end of the night and i'll put those pictures up so that was good and then the next day we fished by ourselves um kind of bounced around the willow Weemock and caught a few small ones um caught a nice one the there's a fly fishing museum there and there was a brown rising up against the bank sipping on sulfurs and i missed him with one of those new italian flies and the Italian birds. The Italian bird, baby. Missed it with that. And um, and then I had a real small cripple sulfur that I, I don't think I've ever used, like an 18 or a 20. And one cast right where he was. And that was it. Hooked a really nice, like buttery colored brown that was actually missing. Yeah, one those of browns that you sent were really nice. So that was the first one. Then after that, we had started to pour rain. And this spot was so good that I don't want to say where it was, but Mo knows where it was. We, me, him, and Joe Rob fished there. I don't want to say. Because a guy, <laughs> we were sitting in the car waiting for the rain to stop. And a guy came up and, he, you know, everybody's fishing around there. And he walked down and he's staring at the river. And I was just sitting there. I was like, I hope this asshole leaves. Like, I don't want this guy. 
<laughs> and he came up. So he, came, he didn't have his rod on, with him though. He just walked down with his waiter. So we got out with, a, we have everything on. We like took our rods out. He's like, you going to fish here? I'm like, yeah, yeah. We're going to fish here. Probably splash around, throw some rocks. You know, like, <laughs> throw some <laughs> rocks. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to so, go for a swim. Yeah. We're a real asshole. So, <laughs> so he did leave and I was like, yes. And then, so we started fishing and Mo knows the spot. It's kind of, it's pretty uniform from bank to bank but then all of a sudden it has these like really deep holes out of nowhere DJ and i almost uh, died here yeah, Mo oh, yeah died I, heard the, I heard the going, almost died story <laughs> going down river but i stayed right where that was and i went back and uh i i saw a fish up against this rock like sipping flies and i hooked this fish and i was like oh this feels like a good brown and it like just took me all the way across back across the river and it was a good like 18 inch brown. And then I was going back out. Literally, I stopped and landed it at a rock and was like tying the fly back on. And a fish started rising like four feet away from me. And I was like, well, look at that. And so I, I <laughs> went right there and I caught another like 18 inch brown. I was like, this is the greatest day of my life. <laughs> it's you said it was like the best afternoon fishing it was, you can remember it was the having. Best, right? It was the best afternoon fishing where every, I think I caught six brown trout that were 16 or more inches walking away like easy easy heavy fat fish and they were like they were rising to march browns and i caught a lot on the usual and on a march brown the italians march brown and um it was great i mean like it wasn't like back to back you know what i mean like you'd stalk around and you'd find a fish rising and you'd if you missed one fly that was it that it was not coming up to that fly you'd make a change to another fly and i usually did the trick and bam you had like another huge fish on so it was it was a phenomenal afternoon especially like doing it yourself you know even though zach's a great guy like it's not his fault we couldn't hook a fish we right. sat on a pot of fish on the delaware that were rising for 45 minutes to an hour like eight fish and we couldn't hook one like we just missed every single one of them until zach was like i don't know we should leave like this is a terrible spot <laughs> so <laughs> so to futz it up the day before and then go out on our own and find fish and catch fish. it was awesome so that was a that was a great afternoon of fishing so i'll put those pictures up a couple of videos but there's fat big fat browns on the beaver kill and the catskill so and where mo's been and almost died so it was a great <laughs> i did catch a i did catch a six inch brown trout though before I, uh, <laughs> it was well worth it well worth yeah, it, it was so definitely worth it that's it for our trips the biggest news in the world is that you two morons are going to be landing here <laughs> in upstate New York. <laughs> <laughs> it's happening. Thursday at 11. <laughs> Thursday at 11. And uh, yeah, it's awesome. I'm so pumped. All three uh, I, false cast fans are going to be together. Get ready. <laughs> All three. False. I know. We can live <laughs> podcast. For the three of us, I guess. We could just turn the camera around and we don't have to record it. We'll just be on camera. So careful what careful you point that thing. <laughs> yeah. You got a license for that thing? Or so we're gonna hit <laughs> some blue, blue ribbon water. We're gonna hit the bat and kill. We're gonna hit the west branch of the off sable. Um, and then anything uh, in between that we find, um, maybe some brook trout streams, got a couple other spots with some bigger wild fish. So that's the plan as it stands today. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. It's cool today. It was like a little under 80. It's supposed to be like in the 70s this week. If it rains tomorrow and Monday or tomorrow and Tuesday, uh, the rest of the week was just perfect. You know, perfect to be out anyway. So we got to actually do it, but it looks good. So I'm um, super so pumped. Ready. I can't wait. Can't oh wait. Oh my God. So, that's it it's gonna be false cast live all three of us in the same spot we should do a bunch of videos and shit and reels and the tiktoks dances mm -hmm. and all those things pants. not no pants pants are <laughs> optional i'm wearing my waiters on the plane <laughs> in the unlikely right. event of a water landing <laughs> <laughs> don't worry i'll catch us some chub on my new wt you know. <laughs> <laughs> chub player if we get stranded in the Atlantic, I'll catch Chubb from the floating <laughs> wing of the airplane with my can you, get us some, can you get us some striper? No, but I can catch you no, some no, Chubb. No, but I'll catch you some last chance I'm catching the Look striper. Look how beautiful this is. Yeah. Striper, striper are hard to catch. Have we had a podcast about that? Did you guys know the Chubbs are the chicken of the sea? Because <laughs> means I'll a healthy a whole stream. Plane. 
That's right. <laughs> Stop catching them, but it's a healthy stream. All right, that's it for this one. And then the next one's going to be probably a lot of bim jeem and uh, <laughs> debauchery. <laughs> This is a thousand month old bourbon. <laughs> this is a thousand month old bourbon. <laughs> I'm Bim G. I'm, I'm Bim G. Welcome to Liquor Stories. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got nine minutes left. We, I like how we're trying to keep them short and they're long as shit. Uh, <laughs> anybody listening to anything? P and I are listening to something terrible. We want to start with that. Well, it's got one real good part, it's got one real bad part. I don't know if we want to something go down terrible. that road. What? Yeah. Yeah. We were listening to something that's got one real good part. One oh. real medium yeah. to yeah, the to uh, medium part. We <laughs> the uh live at Shoals Theater with Patterson Hood, Woo! Mike Cooley, and Jason Isbell all acoustic show was oh. released in the last couple of weeks. Yeah. So I've been I don't listen going, to that yet. Yeah, it's that. been going through that. Buckle up. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I, you know they all they it was all the dbt songs they played yeah. were like classic songs they're like you know carl perkins cadillac and tornadoes and people on the moon women without whiskey and you know yeah. isbol's playing outfit and decoration and all that stuff but yeah. man i gotta say it's apparent who the rock star hood is. And mike cooley <laughs> patterson hood and mike cooley did not sound good it's, it's rough. a little rough yeah oh yeah, yeah good it sounds um, like uh Jason they told Isabel's good dragging stories. somebody by some coattails because <laughs> when an Isbell yeah. song comes on, it's real good. When the other songs come on, if someone was drinking all day, no, nah, <laughs> and it wasn't him anymore. It's not Isbell anymore. Yeah. Dang. So, yeah. Uh, other than that, anywho. I've been <laughs> plowing through the uh, the Sturgill Simpson again, especially yeah. the uh, his bluegrass records he just put out. They're so good. Oh. I do like the bluegrass and I do like sound of fury. I, I get a, I got a rough time. Like I got to wrap my head around it almost. It's just so yeah. different. Sometimes I got to get ready that I'm not going to hear like I'm not, some time. I'm not going to hear that. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you, Teddy. I struggle with it a little bit. I don't, I don't not like it, but know, right? it's, I'm not yeah. quite ready. Oh yeah. It's, it's from way from another dimension. I know. I'll, 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 I'll tell you what we could do. We can put it on the old radio when we're driving around, see what we think. We're all going to be together. Crazy. That's we're a crazy three idea. Best friends that anyone's ever had. We're the three best friends Stop. that anyone's ever had. They don't ever, 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 ever leave each other. <laughs> so, Mo, what oh my God, this to? trip's going to be a disaster. <laughs> it's going to so be bad. a disaster. <laughs> Oh boy! Uh, you been listening to anything, Mo, or just? I I I continuously replay replay. Is that the word? Yeah, mm -hmm. replay. Brent Cobb, constantly. Mm. You have deplaned. I'm deplaned. <laughs> that Brent Cobb. Uh, yeah, Brent Cobb is so good. He's so good. Yeah, I keep trying to not listen to him, and then I don't not try hard enough. And I listen to him again. <laughs> It's that one song. It's probably like his most. It comes up in my shop. On the toes. I love that song. Keeping on the toes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. there's, there's one song about living on the river, living by the river, where the river's poisoned and is. Oh, edit this part out too, Ted. Will but, do. Yeah. <laughs> Your wish is my command. And we're back. It's, and we're back. It's <laughs> dynamite. I'm out of beer anyway. Can we have a? Can we have like a regular discussion? After this, yeah, we can, we can shut yeah. this shit down. We should do hey, have an official sign off. We'll see. Don't forget, like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe, and then uh, we'll Go see on the flip flop. We'll see you this week. Uh, oh, we'll back when the the South invades the North. You can write that as a thing. It'll be well, not that flag, but uh -oh. you get the idea. Got, It'll be a kind of controversial. No, no. <laughs>